We're at home and the van is plugged into an outdoor outlet. This outlet is running on a 20 amp circuit and I thought this might be a good opportunity to demonstrate for some of our newer owners how and why to use the C-Zone display to adjust for a lower amperage circuit. If I go to the C-Zone display and I swipe to the second screen of the favorites menu, I can see that I currently have the system set for 27 amps of input. This is where we typically leave it if we've been at a campground with a 30 amp hookup. We set it at 27 to allow for a bit of a safety margin. But the problem is I'm no longer parked where there's a 30 amp hookup. I have only a 20 amp hookup. Why is this an issue? It's an issue because if I allowed the van to make more electrical demand on the outlet than the outlet can supply, the result is going to be a voltage drop. And if voltage drops below 104, the watchdog is going to automatically disconnect me from power. In the United States, a properly functioning AC outlet runs at anywhere between 110 and 120 volts. As you can see here, looking at the Power Watchdog app, as the number of amps being demanded by the van increases, the voltage decreases while still staying in the 110 to 120 volt range. Now here at our house, where we have a reliable 20 amp circuit, we're not likely to run into trouble. That is, even if we draw a little bit more than 20 amps, the voltage is not going to drop below the safety level. Trouble is more likely to arise in one of two scenarios. First, if the plug that you are plugged into is only a 15 amp circuit and your van begins demanding power well over 15 amps in the 20 to 25 amp range, you might very well experience a voltage drop below 104 and a power watchdog disconnect. The second problematic scenario could arise in a campground that is not reliably supplying 30 amp power even though you're hooked up to a 30 amp outlet. In one campground we stayed at this year, even though we had a 30 amp connection, we were only really getting about 12 or 13 amps. So we started experiencing voltage below 104 and a power watchdog disconnect. So. How do you adjust for low amperage in order to prevent voltage drop below 104? Returning to the control panel, I can manually lower the limit on how much amperage the van will demand from shore power. You can see here that as I do that, while amps coming in decreases, voltage begins to climb. So, if I were in a problematic low voltage situation, I could use this technique to lower the incoming amps until such time as the voltage was back comfortably above 110. We hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you next time here at Amore Van.